Hey everybody, Gunnison on the cover here. Today is Saturday, April 4th, 2020. Time is 5.57 Eastern Daylight Savings Time. And it's the evening hours here. We had a beautiful day here in New Jersey. I had some clouds for the most part. The sun's been out and the temperatures have been up there. It's, uh, it's been a pleasant day. Not much wind in the air. And I'm down here at my summer recording location. The weather's so nice, I thought I'd set the camera up and do it from here. Seeing how other places I'm going, I seem to have a large population of the corona crowds there. So, all right, well, I've really got two stories here. One's just to set up the other story, that's all. And this is another one of those suck em up stories to the police. We got another pizzeria finds the need to jump on the bandwagon and get food out to the cops. You know, the 100 grand a year, this time it's uh, Freehold Township Police Department. Those officers are getting about $100,000 a year, you know. So anyway, this is, uh, so this is what the Freehold Township Police wrote. It says, I am humbled and speechless by the outpouring of support shown to my officers by our residents and businesses of our awesome community we call Freehold Township. Each day brings on new challenges for my officers as our number one goal continues to be keeping our community safe. Well, what a bunch of crap, okay? The job is to enforce laws. Just for once. Can you just be honest for once and tell us what you really are doing? Your government forces enforcing government laws. The byproduct is maybe you keep us safe. But stop it. Because I know as soon as that governor out there tells, implements martial law, you guys are going to turn your guns on us. Anyway, it just goes on here. I'll put the link in the description. You can read the whole thing. And that came from uh, Chief George Ballman from uh, Freehold Township Police. And here's the picture right there. I don't know if you can see it or not with the glare. Pizzas. I'll tell you, they keep sending those pizzas over. These cops are going to be, uh, you're going to have a bunch of government farm animals uh, all bloated up. They won't be able to sit in the cop cars anymore. So I'll read a couple of the comments. I love, I just, it's the comments that get me more than anything. So uh, Bako's Gourmet Pizza, who provided the pizza, chimes in. It says, thank you as always to all the residents who give us the opportunity to provide fresh lunch and dinner to the police department. Thank you, Freehold Township Police Department, for your continued support and for protecting and serving the community that we do business in. Well, if they really wanted to serve the community, they'd take that damn pizza you sent over there and give it to some people who need it. Maybe give it to some of your customers that help pay your bills who now don't have a job. Maybe that'd be the thing to do. That'd be the right thing to do. Oh, and I can't take some of the... Here's, this is Jen Taylor. Thank you for keeping us safe during these unprecedented, unprecedented times. You deserve the best every day. Susan Reed Caladonato, thank you for all you do and what you represent. One of the proudest days of my life was when my son was sworn in. Oh, oh, one of those ones. Thank you for all you do and uh, sacrifice you make and stay healthy and safe. What, I want to know what they do and I want to know what sacrifices they make. I mean, they, they signed up for the job. It's not like somebody plucked them out of a crowd and said, here, you're going to be a cop. You know, it's always the same thing. It's, it's like them. Feeling sorry for the garbage man who gets dirty every day. Thank you for all you do. Oh, please. You are most deserving. Stay safe. We thank you for your service. Thank you for all you do each and every day. Thank you for all you do. It's, it's the same rhetoric all the time. This is why I said in the last video, nothing's going to change. We can screw with the police all we want. I can sit there and take shots at them all the time, verbal shots at them all the time and point out all the crap that they do. Other people do the same thing, you know, and it's not changing anything. Because the problem is, it's the enablers. You have to go after the enablers. And the enablers are these dopey white people. They think that the police are there to protect them. You know, these dopey white people, they live in fear. They're afraid the boogeyman's coming to get them. I can't take it sometimes. I really, it just, uh, it, it drives me nuts because it's just, it's, and these cops get out, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, if you really want to do something, cops, Freehold Township, give the food away. Give it to the people who need it. Like maybe the customers that used to go in that pizza. I think I just said that, didn't I? But anyway, so it brings me up to another uh, posting that we had here. Give me a second. I'm going to bring it up. And, yeah, there's a lot of police departments out there that are uh, profiting off of this by getting all this free food. And I'll be honest with you, some of the food they're getting, I don't know. I wouldn't want 
Who the hell wants to eat pizza at lunchtime? Make you fall asleep. You send all this pizza over there. These cops are gonna get sick of pizza. And it's, it's, all you send is is crap. They're sending crap and, and donuts over to these guys. So why would they want to eat it? The shit probably doesn't even, half of it probably doesn't even get eaten. Okay, so give me a second here, folks. So there is one town out there, Ocean Township Police in Ocean and uh, Monmouth County is doing the right thing. They're giving away pizza, no questions asked. They got pizza, somebody donated pizza, bought pizza. I don't know what the deal is, but somebody bought it, got it. They have it and they're giving it away. Pizza and soda, no questions asked. You're hungry, you go down there, they're gonna give you some pizza. So let me uh, just read this. Um, uh, Post on behalf of Ocean Township PBA, Local 371. Pizza giveaway night, number two, is in the books. We got rained on a little bit, but we powered through and were able to give away over 100 pizzas to local families in need. A huge thank you to Vill Villaggio, Villaggio Pizza and Casercio Family Pizzeria and Tavola Calda for being able to keep up with the huge order. I would also like to give a shout out to all the kind residents who have been making generous donations towards this cause. In fact, the donations have been so generous we are now able to fund a third pizza giveaway next Friday, April 10th. I would also like to mention we were given a generous donation from the Ocean County Sheriff's PBA. All right, I'm incorrect. This is Ocean Township in Ocean County. Now, Ocean Township in Monmouth County has been doing the same thing too. So anyway, this story will be about Ocean County, Ocean Township Police. And there they are. I don't know if you can see it. I'll put some pictures. I'll get the pictures, put them in the video. So, yeah, this is a good example of what the police need to do and the community needs to do. I say, you police departments out there, like Ocean, the two Ocean Townships are doing the right thing. They're getting donations, they're buying pizzas, and people that are getting hungry can go there, you know, maybe they get the pie, you know, and they eat two slices out of that, and then they got two slices tomorrow for lunch or something. So it helps them out, you know, you, you gotta eat out. It's costing, it's, it's like $10 a meal now. So you, you're spending, I know I spend upwards of 20 to $25 a day in eating between breakfast and, and lunch. And uh, dinner for me is usually a small snack. So that little bit can help. So I would say this to all you police departments out there, stop with the gloating, stop with the bullshit and the bootlicking stories on there about all the food being dropped off at your headquarters. Stop taking that food. Tell all these places out there, stop sending us food, jump on the bandwagon, donate the food, and we'll have a drive up food giveaway. That is the thing to do, cops, police out there. You wanna serve the community, Get the food, give it out to those people who need it, the people who lost their jobs. I said this in the last video, you know, you're making 11, $12 an hour, you're living on the edge, man. You can't handle, no bump in the road is gonna, is gonna feel good. And these people who are in that wage category, they don't have money saved up. They're living paycheck to paycheck. And it's a pretty scary thing. And, and, and actually, I am one of the unemployed right now. I'm fortunate I have enough money that's gonna get me by for another month, month and a half, and then some other things will come in. So I'll be able to squeak through. If things settle down by the end of April, I should be okay. If not, then I'm gonna go into the eating one meal a day type of thing, just to uh, stretch the dollar bills out and, you know, stop driving the car and things like that. But, you know, you police departments out there, you gotta start helping people. Stop with the food, stop with the Facebook postings, thanking the, some, blue sucker out there that's sending food over you just because they want to get a mention on your Facebook page and look like a good guy. You want to be a good guy? Go feed the people that go into your business and help you pay your bills. That's how you return and help the community. Pizzerias and police, I just told you what to do. Follow, follow suit with Ocean Township Police down in Ocean County. They are doing the right thing. They are a model example of what police departments should be doing. This is Gunnison Undercover. I will put that story in the, in the description. You can go look at it and uh, let me know what you think. And uh, until next time, people, we're going to have some nice weather the next few days. So enjoy the weather. I'll be doing more stories out here outside at my studio here, my summer studio. Now, I didn't bring the flags this time. They're in my other car. I got my service vehicle today. So I don't have the flags with me. And plus, there was a lot of people down here. I didn't want to set the flags up and start getting all kinds of attention. 
because you never know who's walking up to you, what kind of attention you're going to get. All right, till next time, people, it's Gunnison Undercover.